Alright, what's going on everyone? Um, Irvin here, and this will be sort of a multi-day video where I am actually getting a brand new computer in a couple days. This video is probably going to be edited on that computer, and I've been needing a new computer. Here's the reasons. It's going to be a desktop, not a laptop, like my MacBook, or my Toshiba right there. Here is my Toshiba that I'm sort of upgrading from. It's a 15 inch from like 2013 and it has a horrible processor and this thing sort of lived up to its age because it has Windows 10 on it and it sucks. Like if you plug in a USB device to it when it's on and just idling, the fans go up. So that pretty much explains its slowness and stuff. MacBook on the other hand, I don't know if it's dying or it's having a fault with each other but it's been crashing lately. I may take it to an Apple department sometime soon when they reopen to see what's wrong. I have pretty much stopped using this computer because when I'm editing anything in Camtasia or anything like that, it's, it's just really slow. Like, if I accidentally move a video from a video track to another track, it just lags for an unknown reason. So, and I'm going to stop using Camtasia as well because Camtasia can't even reverse video, so that's pretty nice. So it is this computer right here, uh, the Dell Optiplex 7090. It says it's an SFF, but it's not an S SFF. It's an Intel i7-4790, 4 gigabytes of RAM that I'm going to upgrade over there. You can see the RAM over there. 500 gig hard drive, which I'm going to be upgrading to an SSD and leaving that hard drive in there because it doesn't have an operating system anyways. I got it for 125, which is not bad at all, and cheaper than any, this computer. This computer was $1,000 when I got it, because I got it new. That computer was from a friend for free, but I had to spend a little money on it, because it didn't come with a charger. But yeah, that's gonna come probably Monday. Also, there's a cat, because yes. It's saying it's shipping Monday, so I'll pretty much resume this video once it gets here Monday, so, yeah. Okay, so it is Sunday, and mail doesn't really ship on Sundays at all, so I've been just basically recording the other video that's being recorded at this time, which was broken disc video that's coming up, and yeah. So, the computer's coming tomorrow, yay. However, the SSD is coming on on Wednesday. It may come earlier, I don't know. I want it to come earlier so I can install Windows on that and then leave the 500 gig hard drive that's already in the computer as a extra storage drive in there as I'm going to. Actually, I'm going to transfer the contents of this drive I have. This drive is my old computer's video and other storage drive because due to the fact that my MacBook right here has only 120 gigs of space this is the base model MacBook Air if I go to my other drive which is this that is 500 gigs and I've used a lot of it and that is a problem because <laughs> I'll need a bigger drive if I want to transfer all the stuff from this onto my new drive that's in my computer. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about that. But anyways, yeah, that's all I've been doing today, just making sure I have everything. And I'm going to be transferring files from this MacBook and my other computer that I was using, this Toshiba satellite. So yeah, I guess we'll have to wait till tomorrow to see if we can do anything else, but yeah, I'll, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so I got up less than 30 minutes ago, so apologies for my hair and if I sound kind of hoarse, because my voice isn't too good in the morning. But everything's being shipped, actually, which is amazing. I'll show you. Um, here is the computer, and it is shipping by 9 p.m. today. Hopefully that changes because right now it is 12.50. Okay, so we're back and something came in. This is the SSD that is going to be 
my boop drive, so let's go ahead and unbox this. There we go. Okay, this is my receipt. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. here's the SSD. It's a 240 gig AA data. Um, that's the SSD that's going in the computer that we're probably gonna put in tonight to install Windows. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna wait till the computer shows up in real soon, and yeah. Okay, so, um, computer arrived, and we're out to go get it. It is currently 6 o'clock p.m., which ain't bad. Computer is right there, and I'm about to go get it, so. Okay, so hopefully, it survived shipping because that's my most wor worrisome thing with stuff like that. Oh god! Holy crap, that's huge! <laughs> um, wow, that is insane. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna get this to the house. I'm not gonna really record this. So yeah. Okay, so survived shipping all right. Um, it's 21. Nice. There's a spider. It's 21 pounds, and that's this little corner that got a little banged up, but I'm hoping it's okay. So yeah, here we go. All good? Okay. Bubble wrap, all sorts of bubble wrap. Oh wow. This is gonna be fun. Cushion, nice. That's good. Oh, there's something in there. Uh, here it is. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's the stuff. Authenticated stuff. That's cool. It's an actual, like, store. Dude, that's pretty cool. There are, there is this ATR near San Antonio. That's where this thing came from. And yeah, here it is. Let's get the, let's get this out of the box. Okay, here it is, and we're gonna get all this bubble wrap off. Bubble wrap may be cut. Octoplex 7020. This has a really good processor and everything, so yeah. Um, now we're going to set it up and stuff, and yeah. Okay, so here it is, and first things we're going to do is take a look in the internals. How do you open this thing? There's a hole, and then I guess. Oh, that's cool. Wait, hold on. That's cool, it just... Okay, so... Um... Nice little... Oh, that's gross. Uh... Let's see here... Uh, we have one four gig stick! Okay, dude! We have one single four gig stick. This is exactly what I wanted, so I can upgrade the RAM here. 4 gigs, so we can have 12 gigs, and potentially 14 gigs if we wanted. So, let's get this all in. CD mm. drive's all good? Yep. All good. Uh, this hard drive, this is where the hard drive is, and we're going to install our SSD. Oh, okay. So I don't know what the configuration is for the hard drives though. Okay, so here's one hard drive. This is, oh God, that's horrible. It's a desk star. We're gonna upgrade this a little while after, but yeah, this is where our SSD is gonna go. It's just gonna lay in there. I don't know what to do literally with it. And then we have another SATA power cable, so we're just gonna get that and use it to power the SSD. Okay, so we got this in. I had to steal the cable from this due to it being very, 
short in length. So these cables that came with the computer are longer in length. Think, remember that when I'm at, adding like an, another SSD or something. And this thing came with a bunch of dust balls. So that's a minor concern, but I'll work on that later. Okay, so let's get it set up on my main desk. Okay, so it's all set up, sort of. I don't have everything plugged in. Like I have two monitors and a mixer I need to plug in. But the keyboard is, and I need to plug in the mouse. I just realized. Yeah, I need to put this thing. Here's a close look at the back of it, too. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna flip the power. There we go. That hard drive took a hell just to boot. Holy crap. Let me disconnect the hard drive and I'll be right back because that's gonna, I don't really need that when I'm installing Windows. Okay, here we go. We need to go in the BIOS, please. Yay! Wow, that was fast. Okay, I think our wireless mouse works in the BIOS. Yup. Okay, so we have system information. Memory installed 12 gigs, nice. Eight and time is not correct, but I'll figure that out later. Wait, okay, we have to scroll down to get this system information, okay. Let's see our CPU. i7 4790. This is the best CPU I've ever had in a machine, and it will be amazing. Okay, apply. There we go. And we're going to plug in our USB while we're at it. Come on. Okay, it has to reboot everything. No boot device found, plus I need to reboot. Okay, so we're copying it and it's almost done. We're gonna put that into here. It ain't gonna work. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put this on our boot device. Okay, so we need to set it to UEFI, apply, exit. Okay, now it's on UEFI, so it should work. And, 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 Dell, I, it's not, okay it is, but it's not, give me a loading circle, just to say you're going, bro, thank you, okay, wow, that was fast, wow, okay, we're already there, holy crap, I'm gonna use our keyboard, set up a starter, so, we're gonna you get this, so we can get Windows 10 Pro, I'll be back right after this. Okay, so I don't think it's working. I hit up my product key. Oh, look! There we go. Okay. Okay, there's our SSD. So we're gonna hit new partition. Our SSD works. Probably should- Whoa! Made a ton of partitions. And there we go. So we're gonna get this installed. Okay, so it's booting. There we go. See how long this takes. Wow, that is awesome. Okay, just for the first boot, that's pretty good. Holy crap, this is fast. Oh god, that's a horrible resolution. This is okay, but the Dell logo is having a strong. Think it's rebooting? It's gotta be rebooting, yeah. Wow, <laughs> that is lightning fast. <laughs> Hey, look at that. There we go, okay. Region, is this correct? Yes. Oh no, <laughs> here it comes. 
No, skip. How would you like to set up? Set up for personal use. Oh no. I hope you set up with a personal Microsoft account. Are you kidding me? Okay. Offline account. Frick you too. Limited experience. Okay, there we go. Or even better, use it in Frick you too. Create a strong password. Can we skip this for now so we can skip the uh, security questions? Yes. Okay. No. Oh my goodness. Here we go. <laughs> oh man. Wow, we're already there? Wow. That was fast. This might take several minutes. Hey, speaker works, I heard that. Hey, we're good. Okay, your PC needs to restart, just set up the following. That's fine, that's fine. Um, start menu is, of course, filled with all sorts of garbage. TM. Okay, just updated the BIOS because it was really outdated and now it's booting. This is how, take, how long it takes. Bam, and bam, noise. Okay, so the computer is all set up and everything works. Um, this is my new main computer. Some stuff is transferred because this computer is currently transferring everything, but I still have my MacBook to transfer. Two more things I need to get for it is an NVIDIA GTX 1050 and a one terabyte hard drive. Other than that, this is running extremely smoothly. And here's the CPU doing with, like, stuff open. I have Chrome tabs open, I have HitFilm Express, which runs great on here, and some other stuff. It's running pretty good, and this is actually my first quad-core processor, too, so that's pretty cool. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, you'll see much more videos since I have a better computer to edit on, and it's not crashing on me, and yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.